This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. And our score, 71-63, North Carolina beats Florida State. Mike Hogwood here with Debbie Antonelli. And Debbie, uh, early in the second half, it didn't look good for North Carolina. They were down 10. But then uh, a midseason Wooden Award nominee by the name of Alicia Gray <laughs> came to life. Mike, the first minute and a half of the second half for North Carolina couldn't have gone worse. They <laughs> turned it over. They took four shots. It allowed Florida State to get that 10-point lead that you referred to. But then this play right here changed the personality of Alicia Gray on the floor. She became more aggressive, took the tough shots, was able to get in the paint. She had a double-double in the second half to finish with 22 points and 14 rebounds to lead North Carolina. Certainly different than what she did in the first half. We asked her what she changed to play so well in the second half of tonight's game. Uh, it was just, I just had to pick up the play from the first half. I had a slow first half and I knew second half was my half to pick it up and I did what, what I needed to for my team to win the game. Alicia, in the second half, you blocked a Duke Bulgak shot and then your face changed. You became the competitor that we know you are. You got rid of that business look and you went about going to work. What changed in that moment for you? Uh, it was such a big moment. That play was a big play and you know, that block hyped me up and I knew that at that moment it was time to turn up the tempo of my game. A lot of whistles. Was is it physical down there as it looked to us up here? Uh, yeah, it was definitely physical, especially rebounding. It was such a physical game. Florida State was very physical. We had to step up our physical play because all week coach had to talk about being competitive, and that's what we did tonight. Alicia, some teams can close out games, some teams can't. You guys did not tie this game till about the four minute mark. And then you went on a 9-0 run and scored on five of your last six shots. What changed there and how were you able to make enough winning plays to, to finish the game? Uh, it goes back to being competitive. The team never gave up. And the trigger the game was when the girl knocked uh, Danielle down. We knew that it was time to go and we, we definitely fight for our teammates. So we definitely was ready to play. Yeah, they were ready to play. Look at the second half, 45% from the field and much better from the free throw line. That didn't look like a good number, but they hit nine of their last 10 free throws. When you look at the points in the paint, Florida State got most of them off their offensive rebounding, where North Carolina was aggressive and attacking off the bounce. Neither team really shot it well. North Carolina better in the second half. Mm -hmm. I don't think North Carolina's defense can be overlooked here. I thought they did a terrific job in their man-to-man -man and got the closeouts and the stops they needed when they needed them. Doesn't get any easier for North Carolina. No. Now they travel to Louisville. Louisville? Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the, it's going to help them with their confidence to move on after this game, win their home games, stay in a chance to be one of those top four teams for ACC standings, but Louisville will be ready and Jeff Wells will have them ready to go. Well, that'll do it from here. This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday as North Carolina defeats Florida State 71 to 63. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.